Hi guys, Mike here with Wilderness Warriors 1 on YouTube. Uh, got my rocket stove out here. This is going to be the second burn. We're not exactly level here, so I don't know if that's going to make a whole lot of difference to it or not. My driveway's on a little bit of a slope. And uh, we are in Georgia, and this is kind of an unusual snowstorm. We had about uh, three inches of snow last night. Uh, most of it's kind of melting. Temperatures aren't exactly that cold. It's probably about 34, 35 out here. Roads kind of clear. You can see them down there. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is some testing. I've got a 24-quart uh, stock pot here that has got two gallons of water in it. Uh, we're going to do a boil time on it. I've got a coffee perker uh, that's got the coffee perk stuff removed, so it's just a uh, uh, just a boiler right now. I've got two quarts of water in it, and I've got a small steel uh, barbecue boiler here uh, or steamer pot uh, that's got one quart of water in it. All right, guys, got my 24-quart stock pot. We got uh, two gallons of water in here. Now this may not even boil at all with no windscreen, but uh, we're going to see. So firing this thing up, got some wood in there, and stuff a few more pieces. I'm going to go inside and uh, let's see here. We got, we can add about 30 seconds to that when I'm done. Alright guys, we were at 15 minutes. I did uh, let the flames kind of die down a little bit when I was inside eating my sandwich. <clears throat> However, I uh, pushed them right back in. I mean, we still had flames. It's just if you don't keep enough of the uh, wood stuffed all the way to the center, uh, you, you lose a little bit of heat. However, we do have bubbles. I don't know if you can tell that with the steam coming out. But we have steam and we have bubbles on the bottom of this thing. And uh, so I'm back out here feeding wood back in. So I figured 20, 25 minutes to boil two gallons of water. And that's not so perfect condition. So we'll see if we can get there. That gives us another nine minutes. I'll see if I can't uh, keep this thing fed and uh, keep the heat up and see what we can do. Thanks. All right, guys, 35 minutes here. Not exactly what I had hoped for. Uh, we do have a little bit of a boil going on. Uh, mostly steam um, but there are bubbles that are coming up it's just definitely not a rolling boil and I'm gonna probably say that that has more to do with no windshield or windscreen on this thing and uh, so we got a lot of heat that's escaping because we got plenty of flame hitting the bottom of the pot it's just being aluminum by the time the heat comes up the pot it's it's you know lost and dissipated into the wind so all right, I've just started the timer to set the pot on. Uh, might have the same issue here, but we've got a lot less, uh, you know, surface area, a lot less water. So I have a feeling this one's going to boil pretty good, even without a windscreen on it. All right, 11 and a half minutes. This thing's finally up to a decent uh, boil. It's actually been boiling a little bit since about eight and a half minutes, nine minutes. Uh, but uh, what I did, it, and I found it definitely has to do with the quality of wood as well. Uh, I actually took some of these little limbs that I had found in the yard and snipped with uh, some loppers. And I actually batoned them down and split them up. These are oak. And uh, got to where it's definitely good on the inside. Because you can hear the wood sizzling where everything has been wet. And it's just that it's been an extremely wet winter and uh, shoot it's been a wet year all around but we've got a really really good rolling bowl here on one quart so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and put my two quart uh, kettle on and I'll be back with you all right I just set this thing on here you can still see the moisture on the outside of the can or maybe maybe not all right almost 17 minutes uh, it's been boiling. We've had bubbles coming up, but still not to a complete rolling boil, but uh, I would say certainly good enough to purify water if you had to or, or cook anything that you had to, to boil. Potatoes, macaroni, spaghetti, that sort of stuff. I think you do just fine with it. Uh, I'm going to continue on for a few more minutes. I'm figuring probably by about 20 minutes this thing should be up to a full rolling boil. But... Uh, I think most of my problems are coming that I've got a little bit larger gap than uh, what everybody else has done with their stove. So I may decrease the gap size there between the uh, flat surface of the opening and the bottom of the pan. Um, 
and then I'm going to add a, a set of wind screens here to uh, keep the wind from blowing it all away. So uh, I'll be making more videos on this stuff here in the future. Thanks. All right, I was about a minute shy. <laughs> as soon as I had a few more sticks in there, we were at a full rolling boil. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just a boiling in there. So 17, 18 minutes. Uh, obviously, it would be better if if I was using fully dried wood, uh, kiln dried stuff. Uh, but uh, I only had a few pieces of that that I could play with, and the rest of it was sticks out of the yard. And uh, that's kind of the whole purpose is a, a fuel that is readily available 